the best anime of all time. According to my anime list. You know, I gotta say, now that Freeland has ended, it feels like there's a big gap of nothingness in the week. No more Freeland Fridays. Actually, no more Apothecary Diaries too. So yeah, uh, I am a bit of a sad man right now. Anyway, Sosono Freeland is as close as you can get to a perfect anime. Which makes it perfection, because perfection doesn't really exist. I just finished the last episode. Like just two minutes ago and god that fucking ending how it's it's a full circle how it all connected back to the death of himmel scene however i want to talk about why for me this anime can easily with the right context be my favorite anime of all time and i chose that phrase specifically because i also have both Gintama and Kaiji as my favorite animes of all time. But I think if you know all of these shows, you'd realize why I chose my words wisely. None of these can be related to each other in the genre at all. So yeah, I can safely say Freely is my favorite anime of all time when it comes to that genre. However, what's so good about it, I don't think many people would share the same reasons as me, but it's not even the fights or the story. What makes it so fucking good are just how well written all the characters are. There is not even one, not even one character in this whole anime of 28 episodes that I do not like. Correction that I do not love. I love all the characters on a writing standpoint. Because you'd be like, wait, you like the demons? Yes, I hate the demons. I hate them in a way the writers wanted me to hate them. Not that I hate the writing of them, which is a great thing, by the way. And yeah, Freeland right here, like, she's she's just an epic giant Takodachi. And no one else can argue with that, to be honest. She's both your daughter and your grandma at the same time. She looks like she'd be really happy if you gave her a cookie, while still being the most serious character at the same time. No character in this show is as serious as... Freerain is. And that I think is what makes her character so fucking good. Because that shows you that there are so many aspects of her character and that is not exclusive to Freerain. This is literally all the characters. All of them feel real, feel like actual humans. Uh, funny I say human because she's not even human, but real characters. And I feel like we haven't had that in so long. This anime is so refreshing when it comes to how characters are written and yeah i know that i said the characters are the main attraction for me but the story and fights are also so fucking good there is so so much to talk about in this anime how himmel is basically the jesus of this anime how denkin is the absolute chaddest chad in this goddamn anime <laughs> what mage decides to fist fight. Bro, this is the coolest fucking mage I know in my lifetime. Yubel is... If I talk more, this video might be dangerous to me. And of course, I'm obviously not gonna skip talking about Fern and Stark. The way they're introduced, the way they grow as characters, I think have been done very carefully. Fern might be really making something out of nothing most of the time, but we get to see her pout, so it's all good. I know that you love the anime if you watched it. I'm not gonna sit here and explain to you why you like this anime. So yeah, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. Uh, I don't care about people who say 10 out of 10 doesn't exist. 10 out of 10 means this is as close as perfection gets. So yeah. 10. And please, Madhouse, please make season 2. I've seen what you've done to One Punch Man and No Game No Life. Shame on you. Also, I know you made season 2 of Kaiji and the Tonigawa anime, but you didn't make season 3, so also shame on you. <laughs> so yeah, do not abandon this anime. This is fucking amazing. Make season 2, like, I don't know, st uh, start right now. Now, yeah, uh, go, go uh, and, uh, I don't know, eat a cookie.